Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions and I'm your host John. In this episode we're going over all the different types of electrical boxes. They are defined several different ways. Metal or plastic, their rated size, and what their intended use is. Let's get started with the standard plastic nail-on box. We see here a one, two, and three gang plastic nail-on box. A single gang box is generally used for outlets, switches, smoke detectors, and photo cells. Generally they come in two depths, standard and deep, as shown by the two boxes. All boxes are rated for the size and the amount of wires that can be pulled into them. This rating is almost always at the back of the box. The deep box has more cubic inches so it's rated to contain more wires. Let's take a closer look at the types of plastic boxes and their specific use. You have already seen the standard nail-on box. We see here four different sizes of cut-in or remodel boxes. These boxes are used in finished construction and are utilized to add switches or outlets for remodel work. When used properly, these boxes allow for the addition of switches and outlets without carving up your beautifully painted walls. We see here a stud mounted box. This box type is used when your framing beams are so close together that it's impossible to nail a box in between them. Excellent for tight places and spaces. Here's a box that is really handy. It is adjustable in depth. These boxes are excellent if you're not sure how thick the drywall is going to be or for outlets mounted behind cabinets that will need to be adjusted outward at a later time. They are also excellent for recording studios where sound abatement may be as much as two inches thick. The little screw you see on the left hand side of the box will bring the box out when turned counterclockwise. They also come in single gang. This is called a mud ring and is commonly used for U for access at the panel. It is also used to access large amounts of low voltage wire hidden behind the wall. Let's move on to lighting boxes. Generally speaking, light boxes come in two sizes, 4O and 3O. That's electrician lingo for 4 inches wide and 3 inches wide respectively as shown by the plastic nail-on boxes. The boxes shown are for new construction. Sometimes the beams won't allow you to put a light exactly where you want it. For that we have what's called a hanger bar. You mount the end of the bars to the beams and slide the box right where you need it and then tighten the two screws located inside the back of the box. Next we have a 3-0 remodel box so you can add a light in a finished room. Again, if used properly, you never have to mess up drywall to mount a new light. This little gym is a ceiling fan approved beam mounted 4-0 box with the wire makeup to one side. You must use approved lag bolts when using this for ceiling fan mounts. To finish up this segment on plastic electrical boxes, I'm showing you what an approved bubble cover looks like. This is required for all outside outlets, whether they are dedicated, designated, or GFI protected. That's the code nowadays. That concludes part one, plastic electrical boxes. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.